Long live your turtle here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to adequately set up your turtle tank using just off the shelf products. So what that means is like your big stores, like your PetSmart, your Petco's, or like your Chewy's.com's or your Amazon's, they all carry very basic products for turtles. Sometimes I would say that they're pretty inadequate, but it can be done and it can be done in a way that your turtle is getting everything that they require for their habitat in your home. So without further ado, and without any DIY, let's get to setting up your pet turtle tank. All right, first things first, you need really obvious items. That's gonna be your tank stand and your tank. I have a 75 gallon aquarium here. What I'm shooting for here is a medium sized turtle. What I mean by that is around four to six inches. That's gonna be your medium size. We want about 10 gallons per inch of carapace length. That just gives enough space for your turtle to move around. So I'm going with this Aquion setup here. This is a solid wood stand with an Aquion 75 gallon aquarium. You'll notice I already have some substrate in here. This is from my last setup from last year. Turtles are outside right now, but I'm bringing them back in. And it's a great chance for me to show how to set up a turtle tank without any kind of DIY. So once you have an aquarium stand and the aquarium itself, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna add a substrate. That's just gonna be something that goes on the bottom of your tank that hopefully your turtle can rummage around in and it looks really natural and it looks nice from your point of view, right? You can do a bare bottom, but your turtle's not gonna have any fun with that, and it's not gonna look great. It's a little less maintenance, obviously, but sand kind of cleans itself, but the turtles will kick up the sand, and your filters will take care of the crud that's kicked up during that process. And this substrate is super easy and can be really cheap. Just go to either your pet store and pick up sand, or go to your local hardware store and pick up play sand or pool filter sand. No additives, obviously, but those sands are awesome for a substrate on your tank. This is play sand you see here. Just be wary, play sand you need to rinse a lot before you put it in here. For rinsing, all I do is put in a bucket, fill up that bucket, swish around the sand, and then dump it out, and then keep doing that until the water you're dumping out is relatively clear. Uh, if you have pool filter sand or sand from the actual pet store, it's gonna be more expensive, but it's already gonna be very rinsed, so you probably only have to rinse it a few times. All right, next critical component is a filter. We're gonna go with a canister filter. This is a Sunsun HW704B. Fantastic, high-powered, budget filter. Check out my video and my review on this filter and why I love it. But the most important thing about picking out a filter is you want one that's gonna reduce the amount of time that you're gonna be changing water in this tank and cleaning out the filter itself. And getting a large canister filter like this one, or even doubling up, is gonna save you a lot of time and if you think your time is money, it's gonna save you money in the end. So this canister filter is gonna go under your tank. All right, here all I did was install the intake. The intake on the filter, which is gonna suck up the water from your tank that just has a little strainer on the bottom here. You don't want it to be in the sand, you want it to be a couple inches off the sand because it will pull up that sand as your turtles move it around but a couple inches should give you enough that it really won't pull much at all. And then for the output over here, I just have a straight tube, just shooting the water down. This is gonna minimize noise. You could also do a spray bar if you would like, but spray bars have suction cups and I try to avoid suction cups if I can. All right, next thing I wanna do is decorate the bottom of our tank. So with turtles, what I try to do is minimize the bulk of the decoration. So no huge pirate ships, I know they're cool, or no giant coral reef structures. I wanna keep it pretty low to the substrate and I wanna make it something that's not gonna bang around, hit the glass, and just get utterly destroyed by the turtle. You don't want something that can tip over and then it doesn't look good anymore, like a nice castle. So what I like to do is I like to use something like driftwood. Now, the only, now the only thing tricky about driftwood is you need to prepare it before you put it in the tank. What do I mean by that is there's two things you can do. You can boil it to get rid of bacteria, and then additionally, what I like to do is soak it for two weeks in a bucket or something else and change out that water every once in a while to get out the tannins, which are a natural colorization that comes out of your driftwood pieces that typically is not done for you when you buy it from the pet store. But you can buy these pieces of wood straight from the pet store shelves. You just have to do a little bit of treatment before you put it in here. Very easy to do, just gotta be a little patient about it. But it'll look great in your tank and your turtles can move it around, still looks great. And again, no giant pieces, but these smaller pieces will do just fine. Now, real plants, they look great in aquariums, but with your turtle, most likely, they will wanna eat anything real. And by eat, I mean literally devour it down to the stem. So unfortunately, we're kinda of stuck with either no plants or fake plants. 
So when it comes to fake plants, you still have to be careful because you don't want something they can pull to pieces because there's certain types of these plastic plants that are a bunch of little leaves stuck together. You don't want those because they'll be yanked off. You want something that's either cloth, like this one here, or this hard rubber that has no pieces to pull off. And these are both great because they have little weights at the bottom because your turtle's going to move them around. They're going to try to nibble these things. They're not going to like them, so they're not going to eat them. But I still like to have some sort of plant in my tank because I think it looks nice, and I know the turtle likes it. All right, I'm at the point now where I want to start filling up the tank with water. Now I'm going to fill it to about seven inches from the top of the black trim here on the tank. And I'll talk to you why I'm going to fill it only to that level when we start setting up the basking area. All right, you can see my tank is fogging up because this is 50 degree water. So this is very chilly. And that brings up the next point. You want to keep your turtle water at a healthy temperature for your type of pet turtle. Now, in general, I'll say that's about 70 to low 80s. So look up your specific type of turtle and what temperature of water they prefer. But you're shooting between that 70 and 80 typically. And what you're gonna use to keep a consistent water temperature like that is just a typical aquarium water heater. The one caveat to typical is you wanna get one that's considered indestructible. So something that has like a titanium case like this one. You don't want something that's a weak glass type aquarium heater. And unless it's some really strong tempered type glass, it's something your turtle could break and that would be a huge hazard for your turtle. Now here I have a 300 watt heater. This is the perfect size for a 75 gallon aquarium. The only thing is with the water only being this high, you want to have this heater completely under the water. So if we do that, you're gonna have a bit of an issue. So what you can do instead is install it horizontally. But most of these types of heaters are either horizontal or vertical. They usually direct you not to have it at angles or sticking out of the tank. All right, now that we have the heater and the filter installed with water in the tank, we can turn those two items on to really get things flowing. So what I like to use as a power strip for all of my equipment is this Zilla Power Center or something similar to this type of product. What I love about this is it has four regular outlets and then it has two daytime and two nighttime. We don't need nighttime for turtles. They don't need any lights during the night, but they have these two daytime. And what's great about these is you can program them to turn on and off at a certain time. These are turtles, they are cold blooded, and they are powered by the sun essentially. So you wanna mimic the sun for them to give them that day night cycle because this is obviously gonna be most natural to them. So this power center is just a great way to have timed outlets, but also have your always running type equipment like your filter and your heater just all in one spot. All right, filters operating, heater is starting to heat up the water. What I wanna do now is finish up on this side of the tank, put a cover on it and a light. Now what we need here is we just need a standard glass cover for a 75 gallon aquarium. You can see here that there's this middle brace. So it's already designed to have two different separate glass covers. So you only need one side here. You can get these on Amazon and sometimes in store, but they're made for this Aquion tank to fit inside the rim here. So one thing to note is you have this plastic trim in the back. What you want to do is just cut this out to fit where your filters are coming into the tank so that you can put this flush on top of your tank. Let's install it. All right, now I want to light up this side of the tank just like a normal aquarium. So I actually bought a smaller LED strip light just this just fits 20 gallon tanks, but it fits perfectly over this one side of our tank here where we just want it to act like a typical aquarium. All right, so one of the parts we're gonna need here is this hinged screen cover. Now, this is just a typical screen cover for a reptile terrarium. So things like a bearded dragon or another type of lizard that doesn't have any sort of filtration or wires that need to go inside of the tank. The problem here is that's the point. So they don't account for that and there's no holes or anything. So we can't just put this over the top of the tank because it's not built for that. And for our setup, this is the only kind of awkward thing where we need to take a product that's complete and break it down a little bit to make it work for our setup. But what we have to do here is we have to break the two small hinges here to make this two different screens. And then we have to flatten out the little flange piece here so it fits over our middle trim brace that's on our tank. All 
So what I did here was I separated the hinges as much as I could just by pulling with my own strength. And now when I want to try to use this, it's a little metal cutting saw. And I'm just going to cut along the flange here. All right, so you can see I cut both the hinges off. And what I want to do now is I want to pry up and flatten this flange piece here on the screen. So I'm going to use two pliers, one to hold the base, try to keep this as stiff as I can so I'm not bending the whole thing, and then one just to bend that up. And now once you've bent it, you don't need to be completely flat. All you really need to do is just make sure it's not sticking down anymore, kind of like this side is, so that it floats over that middle brace. And just try to make it look as pretty as you can. This isn't the perfect process, but this will be a huge game changer. Now all pet aquatic turtles need somewhere to bask. What does that mean? They need to be under some sort of light bulb or bulbs that replicate certain aspects of the sun that we have outside every day. What that means is they need some heat and they need UVB, UVA is a plus. So how are you gonna get those? You're gonna be using basking bulbs and part of that basking area is the turtle needs to be able to come out of the water to a dry area and soak in those make-believe sun rays from your awesome bulb. So we're going off the shelf here and one of the most popular basking platforms that you can buy for your pet turtle is the Turtle Dock by Zoo Med. Now what this is, it's basically a piece of foam that floats within this mounting bracket that suction cups to the back wall of your aquarium and this just kind of rides with your water so that no matter where the water is in your tank, your turtle can still climb up to this dry area where above it you'll have your basking lights. So we're going to install this ramp on the open side of the tank here. All right, so that ZooMed turtle dock is installed. As you can see, it's quite stable and very buoyant. So even a heavier turtle is not gonna push this down. And just make sure your suction cups are secure because turtles are rough and they will bang into things and they'll try to wedge themselves behind this. I don't know why. You're probably gonna have to re-suction cup this once in a while. So just always keep an eye on where this dock is in your tank and make sure it's under your basking bulbs. Now you'll notice that this is an open area of your tank. Turtles are somehow, while very immobile outside the water, they're very good at escaping enclosures. So this is a very easy escape route, especially with these things to climb on and just to hop right over the side of the tank. They don't know this is high up, they'll do it and they'll fall. So we need to cover the side of the tank and we can't use glass like we did on the right side of the tank here because glass filters out UVB, which is required for your turtle and then that UVA that's beneficial for your turtle. So we don't want to use glass and we need to use something that can withstand the heat coming from the heat bulb, which for our case is metal. And they have screen tops made for reptiles that are made just for this purpose, which is to hold directly on it a lamp with a heat bulb in it. All right, with our screen top ready, install it as simple as that, all done. Now it's time to put our heat bulbs on. All right, so for our basking bulbs, I'm gonna go with something really simple that you can buy in one box at the pet store, and that's this Zoo Med Aquatic Turtle UVB and Heating Lighting Kit. So what this comes with is this combined mini deep dome, they call it, because these can be separated and just be a deep dome. Um, and they're mini because they have mini bulbs. So in here we have a 50 watt Turtle Tough halogen bulb for heat. And then on this side, we have a Reptisun 5.0 mini UVB bulb. And what makes it mini is they coil it instead of having a linear bulb that's like 10 inches long, they put it all into this one compact sized bulb. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up our mini deep dome directly over our basking area. And what I like to do is try to get the heat bulb near the back and the UVB bulb near the front. That way the turtle, if it doesn't want all the heat that it's getting from here, it can move up to the front of the basking dock and just get UVB. Uh, be careful not to have the heat bulb over the trim of your tank because that's plastic and will melt. Um, you definitely want it fully on the screen and not over any of the plastic in the back. All right, 
Basking bulbs are on, heat, UVB, directly onto our basking dock. I'm gonna leave these on for a bit so that the actual temperature at the basking area can be captured by a thermometer because that's very important that we don't overheat the basking area for our turtle. All right, I'm gonna use my handy dandy infrared thermometer. Take a temperature, low 90s, 91, 92 degrees. Now, that's on the surface of our basking dock. Obviously a turtle has a little height to them. They're gonna be even closer to that basking bulb, so they're gonna be upwards at that 95 degrees. So we just need to be careful because we're at the high end right now. So I would actually recommend maybe bringing the water down a little bit just to make sure that when things fluctuate in the actual room itself, that we're not overheating our turtle. And just to remind you, the manual for our Reptisun compact UVB bulb, it says you need to be about seven inches from your basking area platform for adequate UV radiation to reach your turtle. And this is specific for slider type turtles, basking type turtles. If you have a different type of turtle, you might have a different UV zone. So just check out the manual on what height your bulb should be for your specific species of turtle. All right, camera angles changed, but it's actually been two weeks since I set up this tank. Why two weeks? Two weeks is kind of the magic number for getting a filter stabilized and building up beneficial bacteria to help clean our tank once we have a poopy turtle swimming around inside of it. To keep it short, beneficial bacteria is basically a bacteria that builds up on your biological filtration, so something like your ceramic rings. And that bacteria breaks down ammonia into nitrate, nitrite into nitrates, and nitrates we will remove from the tank as they build up by doing water changes. Now with this two weeks, I thought of two more excellent decorations to go in our tank. All right, so my two bonus decorations, just some basic river stones. You can actually get these from the hardware store in a bag or even a pet store. You can get these in a bag, very easy to find. And then second, I added several water hyacinth plants. These are called floaters because they just float in the water and their roots just hang down in the water column and absorb nutrients, very easy to take care of. And I had these out in the summer pond that Harold's actually in right now. So I figured why not throw them in the tank since the tank isn't filled up all the way, there's plenty of room for them to float around and still be under our LED lights and lights over here. That should be adequate to keep them alive over the winter. And I actually found that my turtles weren't that interested in them. They took a couple bites here and there, but the water lettuce, delicious, absolutely devoured. But this water hyacinth, it's doing great. And I think it's gonna be a great addition to this tank. And I was just able to pick up these plants from my local garden center. They have a pond section with pond plants, and this is one of the most popular ones. All right, I know, we're spoiling Harold at this point, but I have another thing to add to the tank, and that is this floating log. You can pick this up at pet stores, and what it is is basically a foam log. It's weighted on the bottom, so it always stays in this orientation. And it's, it's great for turtles, because it's something they can just kind of hold on to. Harold won't necessarily be able to climb this, because she's too big, and she'll just make it tip over, or it'll sink too much while she's on it. So not a good basking area, but it's a great thing for her to just hang out, put her arms on, rest in the water without going all the way to the bottom or on the basking dock. And it's got a great natural look, so I'm gonna add this to the tank. All right, it's finally time, let's add a turtle. All right, it's been about one week since I added Harold to her new habitat here, and you can already see that she's moved some things around, made herself at home put this driftwood there, that rock there. So always be prepared for whatever cool scape you put in for your turtle, they're probably gonna rearrange it. Now to quickly cover the last care advice is you need turtle food. So I feed Harold here like a pinch of this floating type pellet food. This is Ultra Fresh, which is a great brand. All right, since I still have you here, I'm gonna plug my own product and that is going to be a basking platform solution that allows you to fill this tank from almost around halfway here, all the way to the top, optimizing your turtle's living space in the water that your aquatic turtle really loves. Let me install it real quick for you and show you what I'm talking about. All right, I'll make the solicitation quick. 
This is the Turtle Vasker 5000, super easy installation. It fits on tanks between 18 and 18 and a half inches wide. That's your 40 gallon breeder, your 60 gallon breeder, your 75 gallon tank like this Aquion here. 90 gallon tanks, 120, 125 gallon tanks. But just notice no water line. You can fill your tank all the way to the top. All right, you can see that ramp, super easy to climb, super wide, deep enough in the water that literally any turtle can climb out of this. And your turtle can easily bask on this vinyl tile here under whatever heat lamp setup that you want on this screen. Made of high quality acrylic, and it even gives you the option to put filtration behind the basker. And there you have it. I apologize for the quick advertisement for my own products, but I showed you the setup for basic things that you can buy from the store. It has its ups and downs, and I don't want to say it, but it's probably temporary because those floating docks aren't going to last while your turtle is growing. You know it will last. An above tank basking platform like this one. Like I said, I have DIY videos on how to build something similar to this in my channel. Please hit that like button if you like the video, subscribe, and long live your turtle.